Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to DPO Outdoors. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe as it means a lot to me. And don't forget to share the video too as uh, that would mean a lot to me too. Try to grow my channel as much as possible. It'd be awesome hitting 500 subscribers. So my plan today is to show you guys all my gear. That goes for clothing, that goes for my ice fishing rods, my tackle, my quad, my tracks, my tent, everything. I'm gonna show you guys everything as much into detail as possible so you guys get a good idea of what I use out on the ice and so yeah if you guys are interested in this keep watching and you'll see what I use and uh, how I do it. So right off the hop we're gonna start off with my clothing. My snowsuit that I use is uh, it's from CKX. I got the full-on bibs, uh, the jacket, I have the mitts and the boots, I have everything CKX. No I'm not sponsored by CKX, it's just the brand that I chose. Super warm, super comfortable. The jacket has an inside layer and outer layer. So if it's too warm, like early ice, like this year, I took the outer shell out and I was, I'm just using the outer shell right now. Super warm nonetheless. I was out in minus 20, uh, minus 24 last weekend. And I was super warm. Even these gloves, these gloves I've been using for, oh, these are my, it's my third year with these gloves. They are getting worn, I won't lie. They are, they're leather gloves, but uh, they definitely did their job. They definitely kept me warm. Same with these boots. I'm going on year five for these boots, uh, the CKX boots. Uh, I'm definitely gonna need to buy new liners soon because mine are getting worn from walking the bush because I use them hunting as well. So using them in the bush, using them in the field, uh, using ice fishing, I literally use them all the time. Every weekend I'm in these boots. So I'm going on year five, same liners. Definitely time to replace the liners, but the boot itself has been holding up pretty good. So I'm pretty impressed with these boots. And an awesome tip for you guys, whenever you guys go ice fishing, definitely keep hot shots or hot paws or whatever you call them. Keep them in your pocket or keep them in your gloves. Me, I don't like to use gloves while I'm ice fishing. I, I always keep them aside and I always use bare hands just to jig with my rod just because I like to feel the sensitivity and everything. So I always keep hot shots in my pocket. That way after I catch a fish, hopefully, I stick my hands in my pocket and I always warm up my hands with those hot shots, which is sick. I, I love keeping hot shots in my pocket, so that's a very big tip. It'll save your hands, no doubt about it. So yeah, that's it for the clothing part. Now we're gonna move on to the sleigh. So this den, this right here, this is the, it's an Eskimo flip over tent. Uh, it's actually not mine, it's my buddy Caden's. So we've been using this flip over tent for two years now. He's had it for three years, I think, uh, but we've been using it for, for two years. It's, uh, it's definitely done the job. It's awesome, I love, uh, I love the factor that you just get to your spot, you flip it over, and you're basically fishing already. There's lots of room in it. We've already fished four holes in here. It's a bit messy, but it's doable. In my Lake Winnipeg early ice video, you'll see us using four holes. Um, and it, was, it wasn't that bad, to be honest. It was pretty good. So uh, yeah, not too much to say about this sleigh. It's, uh, it's a very good sleigh. Not insulated, I will mention that. And I am planning on buying my own um in the near future hopefully this season so if you guys have any recommendations please let me know in the comments i'm thinking about going with the otter so if you guys have an otter or flip over tent let me know how you guys like it and uh, let me know if you guys suggest it okay now we'll move on to the machine okay guys as far as the machine goes i have a 2019 can-am outlander xt uh, it's the 850 i bought this thing brand new last year and i have zero regrets a lot of you guys were asking about my tracks which I highly suggest. I did not change my mind on these tracks. I do not regret not buying a snowmobile. These tracks are amazing. They're all season tracks. I can literally use them in some summertime if I need, but I, I don't. I just put my tires on. I put these tracks on for my moose hunting trip that I do every year. And a couple years ago, they helped me pull out a bull moose out of the bush. So I have no issues with other quads. Polaris, Kawasaki, whatever it is, I have no issues with those. I just chose Can-Am. And uh, honestly, it's been, it's been good to me. Had zero issues with it, so. And yes, the solenoid for the winch did break, so gotta get that fixed. If you guys were wondering, these are Camto tracks. It's the uh, T4S, uh, all season tracks. I can literally put these guys on in 45 minutes. It takes no time, it's uh, super quick. And yeah, that's, that's the main reason uh, that I went with tracks too. The other main reason is that there, I have no other engine to maintain, like a snowmobile. So only having one engine to maintain is super, super awesome. Only got this bad boy to maintain. For the price of the tracks, yeah, I could have gotten a good sled too, but 
to me, I just really didn't want another engine to maintain. So I went with the tracks and I can use them for hunting, which I do pull out my moose, my deer, my bear with. So at the back of the machine here, you'll see I got, I made a custom box for the back rack that I just screw on. I got plates underneath the rack. So I just sandwich it together and it stays into place. And that's where I put my auger and other, other stuff in here. I got a bunch of random stuff right now. I got my auger in here, straps. I got a shovel, I think. Random goodies. And then in the front here, I got six rod holders for my buddy. Whenever we go out, I put my rods in the crate here, which I'll get to soon. But yeah, he puts his rod in the back here whenever he needs. So it's nice to have extra storage for rods. As it goes for augers, guys, I run the, it's a gas auger. I run the Eskimo Shark Z51. It's a great auger. I've been running this auger for a long time and it's drilled so many holes. It's been reliable. Yeah, I don't regret using this one. Eventually, I'd love to get a Strike Master. So if you guys have uh, an electric auger such as a Strike Master or Ion, tell me guys in the comments what you guys prefer and uh, yeah, let me know how you like it, if it's worth it. Uh, tell me everything. I, I appreciate the comments. For now, I'll just be using the good old gas auger. And yes, that is cat's ass. Okay, so we've done clothing, we've done the quad, the tracks, uh, we've done the auger. If you guys have any questions so far about any of the gear I use, shoot it down in the comments. Let me know. I'll answer you uh, as much as possible. So the next part, I'll be showing you guys my crate that I built. So literally how you see it, this is my setup, how I go fishing. Like, I get to the lake, this is how my quad looks, and my sleigh looks, and my, my crate looks. This is how it looks when I go fishing. So whenever I go fishing, I'll give you guys a scenario. We're going to Lake Winnipeg. I always like to carry four rods. So I got PVC pipes in the four corners here, and uh, that's where I put my rods. It fits the nice. I fit my flasher and I fit my tackle tray and the jaw jacker is just there because we were out on uh, Big White Shell Lake not too long ago, so we needed the jaw jacker, but that's usually not there when I go to Lake Winnipeg. Whenever I go to Lake Winnipeg, it's usually just running and gunning. So I'll show you guys my rods now. All right, guys, I'm gonna start off with my rods and then I'm gonna go to the reels that I paired up with the rods. So now first I got this 40 inch convergence. It's the medium heavy fast action. Uh, I love this rod. I just got it this year. It's from Shimano. Uh, so far, it's been it's been great for me. Uh, second rod. I've had this rod for a while now. This is the Fenwick Elite. It's a 36 inch. I love this rod as well. I've had it for a couple years now. So this this rod has definitely been good to me. It's caught a lot of big fish. <laughs> uh, second, this is the Quantum. Uh, cheaper rod from Cabela's, uh, but it works great in the jaw jacker. Not gonna lie. So it's one of those rods where I kind of not don't care about, but it's kind of just there and I use it for the jaw jacker and whatever. So it's kind of one of those rods. Then I got this 36 inch medium uh, fast action world class by Fenwick. I just got this rod this year. Uh, I've been, I use it a couple times. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it yet, but uh, I'll definitely keep using it for perch and uh, pan fish and all that. And I'll definitely let you guys know later what I, what I think about it. Switching over to the real side of things. I paired up the World Class with my Fluger President XT. Uh, super great reels. I love this reel. I use them for summertime, walleyes, and uh, for wintertime too. Going to the Quantum, I just have this reel that came with a combo. It was a combo. So, like I said, cheaper rod, but I, I still love it for the jaw jacker and everything. Still a great rod. So lastly, I got these two Presidents for my uh, Fenwick Elite and my Convergence. These two presidents are phenomenal i love them i also use them for summertime and wintertime too i do not regret buying these so i highly suggest these reels they're they're around 100 bucks 90 bucks maybe the president xts are 100 dollars or 110 somewhere around that price range i also have another rod that i need to buy a reel for i bought a 36 inch medium uh convergence so if you guys have any suggestions for reels for that one i want to try something different I was thinking maybe the Sedona size 500. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. If you guys suggest that one, if you guys tried it, let me know in the comments. So yeah, guys, those are some of my rods. I have more, but these are typically the ones that I love bringing to lakes like Big White Shell Lake, where there's Cisco's, there's panfish there, there's uh, crappies, there's perch, there's walleyes. So I like bringing a variety of rods and they all fit in my crate here. So it's perfect. And if I want, I always got more room in the back here. Me and Caden typically bring four rods each, so 
It's nice to have a variety of rods and uh, yeah. So now I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek of my tackle tray that I always bring. Uh, this is the track tackle tray I love bringing to Lake Winnipeg, Big White Shell Lake, uh, pretty much everywhere is Caddy Lake, everywhere is that ice fish. It's got pretty much a little bit of everything. I got some, a couple tungsten jigs, eyeball spoons, I got the live targets and jackals, got a couple of those, a bunch of rapalas, a bunch of PK spoons, different sizes, uh, random stuff. Uh, a lot of flutter spoons. I absolutely love flutter spoons. Love them. Uh, I got a bunch of different sizes. I also got some VMC tinglers, tumblers, and I got a lot of buckshots and random spoons. Uh, just random stuff. It's good to have a variety whenever you're going out to the lake. You never know what you're going to run across. So it's good to have a, a good variety, especially crank baits and jigging spoons. So yeah, that's my tackle tray. So lastly, obviously I gotta show you guys my unit. I use the Humminbird Helix uh, 5. It's a perfect unit for me, I love it. I use it in the summertime in my boat and I use it ice fishing. I bought the ice deucer for it. Been using it for two years now and it's never let me down. I highly suggest this if you guys ice fish. I love that it has memory. Let's say you turn your head for a quick second, you look back, if you had a regular ice 35, you don't know if a fish quickly swooped in, took a look at your bait and took off. But if you have this, it has memory, so you, you can see the backlog in it, as you guys can see now. It's very neat. I love it. I love uh, watching the lines go up and down, and you can see the fish chase you up. It's, uh, it's a perfect unit, honestly. So yeah, guys, that about wraps up this video. I showed you guys pretty much everything I had. My quad, my clothing, my unit, my rods, my tackle, a little bit of my tackle, my sleigh, or Caden sleigh. <laughs> but pretty much everything I use when I go ice fishing. So that's basically all I use. Uh, if you guys have questions about the tracks or the, my unit or my sleigh or anything, let me know in the comments. Um, this, this video is basically just to show you guys what I use whenever I go ice fishing. So don't forget to like the video and uh, share the video if you want. It means a lot to me, guys. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.